Congratulations, you've gone to the show and generated a huge number of new leads. Once the dust has settled and your feet have recovered from standing up for two or three straight days, your next and final task of the exhibition marketing cycle is to determine how well you did. So, when should you calculate ROI? It's worth doing right when the show finishes in the first instance, because that's when the organiser will be asking you to book your stand for the next year. And it's worth doing again in three months. The average sale takes some time, so allowing a few months for your salespeople to work their magic gives a much better impression of the true ROI of the show. So here are two formulas to use to calculate ROI. Immediately after the show, your expected ROI is calculated as follows. For example, if the show cost you 10K, you generated 30 QMLs, close at a 50% ratio for a deal value of £1,000, your ROI is thus 150%. Good work. After three months, when you know for certain how many deals closed and what the value is, the ROI is simply calculated as follows. Quite often, if a show seems excellent, you assume your ROI will be greater than it was. Conversely, if the show seemed poor and one monster deal comes in two months later from it, then this needs to be attributed to the show ROI. So, now you know what your ROI was, which will make your FD happy. But the real question is, what can you learn from your exhibition experience? The first thing to consider is how your ROI matched up against your expectations. Did it deliver quality new business to your pipeline? Did it give you a chance to meet lots of existing customers? Did visitors to the exhibition leave with a positive impression of your brand? While you can measure these things to an extent, a lot of the analysis is going to be qualitative. Try this. After the show, call up a few people who came to your stand and ask them what they thought of it. Try some open questions. For what reason did you come to our stand? Were you able to speak to someone quickly enough? What did you think about the stand's aesthetics? If you ask four or five people, you'll start to get a fairly good impression of how successful your stand was. Next, call the exhibition organiser and ask them for their feedback. Remember, they see hundreds of stands every year and have a pretty good idea of what works and what doesn't. Ask them if there were any stands on site that stood out to them and why. And of course, speak to your stand staff. What were their impressions? Was the traffic interesting? Did the stand attract people? Was the placement on the floor good? There were probably things that could have gone better, and that's okay. No exhibition goes off without a hitch for anyone. A light may burn out, a sign may fall down, a carpet may tear, or whatever. But the thing that matters most is, was it a positive investment for your business? If so, then consider expanding your presence next year. If it was middling, perhaps consider the same again. And if it was underwhelming, take a look at some of the other shows out there in the marketplace. <laughs>